Oi pessoas, tudo bem? Hoje eu vou falar palavras em inglês britânico e palavras em inglês americano. Então eu estava muito ocupado com meu trabalho novo. Eu estou muito feliz de voltar aos vídeos semanais. So first of all, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Falecom Jake. Make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's also Falecom Jake. So I didn't upload last week or two weeks ago. It be, I missed uploading because I really enjoy to make these videos and I enjoy, you know, the, 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 um, the comments I get and the responses I get. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back making these videos. Again, I'm gonna try and you know adjust my schedule and make these videos weekly as normal, um, as I've always been doing. So today I thought it would be interesting to talk about some words in British English um, and American English that uh, we have that mean the same thing that are actually, um, we say different words for. Um, I'm also going to talk about how these words are similar in Portuguese. So it'd be cool, you know, a lot of the words in British English that I have here um, are very similar in Portuguese, actually more similar in Portuguese than they are in American English, which is quite crazy really, isn't it? Because we both speak English and the Portuguese in Brazil is more similar with British English than it is American English in some aspects, of course. So yeah, the, the, I have some words that I'm going to talk about today. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so film, film. I'm going to watch a film in British English, film. In US English, movie. And in Portuguese, uh, filmy. So we have film, movie, and filmy. In British English, film. It's actually the British English word film is closer to Portuguese with filmy. In American English, movie, completely different word but means the same thing. Second is cinema. Cinema, we say um, if we're going to watch a film out at the cinema, let's go to the cinema to watch a film. In America, they just say, we're going to the movies, let's go to the movies. And in Portuguese, cinema. So yeah, you have this cinema in British English, cinema. In American English, movies. Next one we have is sofa. Sofa in British English. Couch in American English. Sofa in Portuguese. <laughs> to be honest, couch, we we do use this word in Britain. Um, we say both sofa and couch, but sofa is more common to use in British English. Um, but again, very similar to the Portuguese, so far. So far, <laughs> it's, it's the same. Next one I have on my list, shopping center in British English. A mall, a mall, a mall, a mall, mall, a mall in American English. I see, I don't even know how to pronounce that word because we don't ever use it. Um, and in Portuguese, shopping center? <laughs> no, is that right? Shopping center in Portuguese, it's the same. It's the same in Portuguese, but yet in American English, it's a different word. What happened? <laughs> Shopping center. Shopping center. Yeah, in Portuguese, it's exactly the same as English. Now this one, I feel very passionate about this one. Football. In British English, football. American English, soccer. Why? Why soccer? And in Portuguese, football. Another example of why you should be learning British English and not American English, simply because of football. This has always confused me, but yeah, don't, if you're ever talking to a British person, just don't say soccer. It's, yeah, you, you should know this if you're Brazilian, you say football, just say football, it's easy. And this is what we say in Britain. We feel offended when someone calls it soccer because, you know, it's, it's our favourite sport. When someone calls our favourite sport the wrong name, it's not cool. It's not cool. And yeah, so moving on from football, um, in America for the, say, your your football coach, the manager, 
we say manager in, in British English and they say coach in American English. Sometimes we have this word for a certain role within football, but we don't really say like football coach. No, it's very American this. Um, we say football manager and in Portuguese, treinador. It's completely different. I can't, I'm not even going to try and relate these two because it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, the next one, toilet. In, yeah, in American, they say restroom. American, why am I saying American? In American English, they say restroom. Um, we would consider this a little bit posh. If you go to a restaurant or something, we just say, uh, where's the toilet? Or yeah, at the most, where's the bathroom? But we never say restroom. The restroom is not really a word that we say in British English. Uh, it's definitely more American English. And in Portuguese, banheiro, which I believe directly translates to bathroom. Next one, petrol or diesel in British English. In American English, what do they say in American? Gas, gas. And in Portuguese, what do they say? I'm gonna check my notes. Gasolina alcohol or diesel. Yeah, in British English we say petrol or diesel. It's to do two different types of uh, petrol, <laughs> of gas. In America they just say gas um, and in Portuguese you guys have three different names. Uh, gasolina, alcohol and diesel. Um, but yeah we don't, we, we never say gas. In, in, we say gas for like when we have a cooker. Or if you need gas for the cooker, gas in the house, yeah, we say gas for this. We don't say gas to put gas in a car. So yeah, British English, petrol or diesel. Car park, somewhere to park your car in public places. For example, in a shopping centre, if it has a car park. Um, in America, the mall, does it have a parking lot? Parking lot is American English. And in Portuguese, let me see my notes. Estacionamento, estacionamento, which is, I don't know what that translates to. I mean, parking, car park, I guess, but I don't know. It's, there's, no, there's no relation with those words, but yeah, car park in British English and parking lot in American English. Next one we have is autumn. Autumn is yeah, the season, autumn in British English, autumn. And autonal in Portuguese, and then our strange relatives across the pond. Fool, fool. What's that about? Fool. It's because the leaves fall. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, autumn in British English. Fool in American English. Autonal in Portuguese. Autumn, autonal. Very similar. This one's a bit of a strange one because I don't really know why. Crisp. Yeah, so like a bag of crisp. In Portuguese, patata fritas. So fried potatoes. It's American English, chips. But the thing is, in British English, we're very prideful of our chips. You know, we don't have a huge cuisine. So, um, you know, we have chips and we love our chips. So yeah, when we say chips, um, we mean chips. We don't mean crisp. We don't mean patata frita when we say chips. But in America, yeah, they say chips. And fries is what they say for our chips. Our chips, like this, and their chips, fries, like that. Crisp for us, like that. Portuguese patata fritas, like that. So yeah, this, this, the, there's not really any similarities between the two there. Next, uh, garden, back garden. So like the, what you have in a house. So you might have a front garden and a back garden. Um, in American English, yard, front yard, backyard. British English, front garden, back garden. Um, and in Portuguese, jardim, jardim, which is similar to garden, no? Garden, 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 similar to garden, garden. British English, Portuguese, Jardin, and American English, Yard. Yeah, I don't know. It's another good one. Taxi. I like this one. It's a good example. Taxi. British English. Taxi. American English, Cab. Brazilian Portuguese, 
taxi. How do you actually pronounce that shit? Taxi. Ah, oh, shut up. Taxi. Taxi. In Brazilian Portuguese, taxi. So where did cab come from? In the rest of the world, taxi. So where did cab come from? I don't understand. What, where did cab come from? Why can't we just say taxi? Admittedly, in London, we do have a name for the taxis because they're very like iconic, as you may know. Black cab. But that's the only time we say cab. The rest of the time we say taxi. What else do we have on my wonderful list of American English and British English words, we have curtains. So in British English, curtains. In American English, drapes. Should we take a look in Portuguese? Cortinas. Just like curtains. Very close to British English. Tomato or tomato? The big question. Tomato or tomato? Potato, potato. So in British English, we say tomato. In American English, Toma tomato in Portuguese, tomachi. Again, very similar to British English, tomachi. So yeah, same spelling in British English, same spelling in American English, just different pronunciations. We have a lot of words that are exactly the same spellings in American and British English, but they are pronounced very differently. And that is a perfect example of tomato and tomato. This one's really funny. Aubergine and eggplant. Never understood where the name eggplant come from. This makes no sense to me. Aubergine? Yes. Vegetable. Aubergine's a vegetable. Where do you get eggplant from? What's the relation with egg? So anyway, let's take a look in, in uh, berinjela. Ber berinjela? Berinjela. Berinjela in Portuguese. Um, yeah, aubergine, British English, eggplant, US English, berinjela, Portuguese. Imagine that in Portuguese, planta de ovo, eggplant, planta de ovo. Coriander, so coriander in British English is a herb, yep, it's a herb. In American English they say cilantro, which I think is actually quite close to Portuguese. But I think cilantro is Spanish and cilantro came into American English from Spanish. Um, but I have a funny story about this. When I have some friends in, in America, we were shopping for some ingredients and they asked me to find the cilantro. I had no idea what they were talking about. And I said, what's cilantro? And they were trying to explain to me what cilantro is, but they had no idea what the word was in British English. Um, so. We, we all had to Google uh, cilantro to translate to coriander. In fact, I didn't actually understand a word they were saying. Although they're speaking English, well, actually it's Spanish, but... Communication failures between British English and American English is actually quite common in scenarios like this. So in British English, we say dummy for what a child sucks on. And in US, it's pacifier. Um, when I first heard pacifier, I had no idea what I was. I just thought, what's a pacifier? Um, and Portuguese, chupeta, chupeta in Portuguese. So there's no real relation between chupeta, dummy, or pacifier. Jug is or jar in British English. In American English, they say pitcher. What's a pitcher? Some sort of activity in sport or something. In baseball, they have a pitcher in baseball. I wouldn't know. It's an American sport. Jarro, jarro in in Portuguese. Very close to jar. So another example. British English sounding like Portuguese. So yeah, it's quite interesting to see the differences between British English and American English, and also the relation between British English and, well, let's just say English. Um, English words and Portuguese words are quite, actually quite similar. It does always confuse me where USA got these words from, um, where they inherited these words from. Probably a little bit of history for me to do some research where they actually got these words from. Um, like I said before, we do have a lot of breakdowns between the language of American English and British English. There's so many different words, there's so many more words that I could talk about. Um, another example is root and route. When I first heard route, when someone said to me, do you know the route to, to get somewhere? 
I, I just had no idea what they were talking about. It's, for me, it's like, well, they're speaking English, but I don't understand this new word, route. It's like, route, what does that mean? So I had to figure it out. Like, what do you mean route? So in English, we say root. So yeah, we have a lot of words that are completely different either in pronunciation or we just have words like pavement and sidewalk, which are just two completely different words that mean the same thing. Um, I need to find an American to do a video with, I think. I think that's what I should do next is make a part two to this video with an American, some kind of collaboration. And we can compare our words and try and figure out, you know, what word is, what, what word means what, aubergine or eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to Falicon Jake. Give us a thumbs up as well, press the like button and follow me on Instagram, it's Falicon Jake. And I'll see you guys in the next video.